Hey guys, I am working late today and we have our mandatory office day also today. So I am headed to work. It's 10.45 and my neck is better so that I feel confident that I can stay at work. If it gets too bad, I'm just gonna head home. I was planning on using the weekend to fit this mattress into my car, but with my neck not being <laughs> at all um, cooperative, that was not gonna happen. So I am just gonna head to work. I work until eight and then I have to go home. And then when I'm home, I'm probably just gonna go straight to bed because we're old people. <laughs> we go to bed at like, I don't know, 9.30 or something. It's lunchtime and we have some fake takeaway. <laughs> This one is so good. Hey guys, I uh, got a hole in my jeans, like on the inside of the thigh. So I am, I finished work and I'm headed to the mall. I'm gonna buy a new pair of jeans or two and then I'm gonna be heading home. Not my plan today, but it's payday today. So buying new jeans isn't really a big problem. I know which ones I'm buying too. I always get the same ones. Hopefully they have my size so that I, I don't have to go around looking for anything. found jeans they only had black ones in my size and both of the ones that broke are blue like a lighter blue and a darker blue so i always may turn my jeans into shorts when they break because why not the only problem is if i wear shorts i get chafing so I don't like wearing shorts when I'm be gonna be out for a while. I like, I if I would do, I wear dresses with like cycling shorts underneath. Hey. Hi. Come down. Hey guys, I have my lunch break and my neck is still a little bit sore, but it is a lot better than it was. I was actually able to sleep on my side last night and not on my back, which was so nice. I really don't like sleeping on my back. I'm gonna go outside and I'm gonna measure the height from the little handle thing above the window down to where the window ends because I have some curtains downstairs that we don't use anymore and I'm gonna be reusing them in my car as a blackout shade basically. So I'm gonna go outside, take some measurements, and then we're gonna cut some curtains. Look at her, she's so cute. She's been sleeping there for a few hours now. Okay, we're in the car, so this is the handle. And then here's the bottom of the window. So we got about 45 centimeters. I would rather it be a little bit too long, so let's do 50. So that's from like here and down and then some of this will be open. I'm also planning on doing a carton like here with these. So from like here to there. And this height to the dash is about 35. So let's do 40. And the width is about 100. So there's probably a couple of curtains. Since I ordered a tent, the back like the trunk is going to be open with a tent over it. The tent was delivered to the post today, so I can go and get that after work and try it out, <laughs> see if I'm able to assemble it before we go there. It looks like it's really easy. You basically just drape it over the trunk and then there's a couple of things that you attach to like these on the inside, on the, like those ones, the ones in the back. Um, if you don't have roof bars, which I don't, if you have roof bars, you use those instead. And then there's like one little, like a, a little thing that you place into the ground and that is going to be placed like a little bit underneath the car. I just hope, I don't know if we're going to be parking on grass or if we're going to be parking on pavement or gravel. I have no idea. So I'm just hoping that wherever we park, I'll be able to like place that. But, um, yeah. Hi. She really likes the basement, probably, because it's so cool down here. Mm. 
Okay, so these ones are both 50 centimeter height, and then this one is 40 for the front and for the back. This is about 40, 140 centimeters wide, and this is the same, so I can cut this down if I need to. Look at her keeping me company. So the other day I also picked up this um, table. This is like an easy clamp up, clamp down type situation that I can bring with me, which is super light. And then there is the mattress situation. I think I'm gonna see if I can take the seats out first. Before I do anything with the mattress, I don't know if that's gonna work, but we'll try. I have the curtain of things that I cut out. And then I have some metal rings. I have some safety pins and needles. Um, and then I have some carabiner hooks. So this is one of the curtains for the side. And then this one has these on already. My plan was if I take like a carabiner and then I just hook it through like that and then this one is not quite big enough but I don't have anything bigger I think. I think the bigger ones are downstairs um, and then also for this side can use a smaller one because the plan with this like I said is to be able to just quickly hang this up when we get there and then you can hang this on this on the support on the inside at least that was my plan yeah that works and then you do the same with the carabiners in the back obviously these carabiners for this to work properly these have to be bigger so that I can clamp onto these properly I think I'm just gonna finish this and then I'll come back. This is gonna take a while. Hey guys, I am such a tomato. Oh, so this. Can you stop focusing on my face? Here, mattress in place. And I took the seats out. Um, I have the mattress cover downstairs. I washed it, so I think I'm gonna put that back on. Other than that, I'm just missing packing and stuff, and then I'm ready to leave, even though I'm not leaving for another two days. Anyway, I am gonna head back inside. I'm gonna take a shower. Good morning. I have my union day today, as I usually do on Wednesdays. It's pretty nice and calm now because it's going into the holiday season or vacation season. So I um, actually have a couple of hours in regular work today, which is nice. So from 9 to 11, I'm gonna have be in, in work. And then I have like a little overlap period where I'm not necessarily working, but I might have um, lunch 
and then I have a meeting from 12 to 1.30 and then another one from 2 to 3 and then I finish work at 3.30 and then I have an email that I need to reply to as well. Look at her. She's so cute. She's like, rawr. <laughs> She's drinking from my plant. Hi. <laughs> She's like, act casual. Plant water is the best water. Hmm. to pick up my parcel with the tent for the trunk and then probably gonna test it out I picked up the tent so we're gonna open it so I bought this for the Colt, um, but you can basically use this on most cars. Uh, and then if you're not happy, there is like a return thing in here, which is why we're going to try this because I want to make sure that it works before we're going. Since my car is so tiny, it should work still because it is the correct height when you open the trunk. Um, it even has like a little clasp so you can carry it. That's very convenient. And it says extremely practical mobile tent solutions for attaching to vehicles. Ideal for four wheel exploring and car campers who value additional space. So this is the VOD drive trunk. I think I'm going to move my car out of the garage so that we can just try this directly on the car. I think that's the easiest way to do it, even though my car is really dirty. So I should probably wash my car before I try it on so that it doesn't get dirty if I need to return it. I am going out with my car tomorrow so I could wash it tomorrow, but I kind of just want to try this now because I'm impatient. So I'm not able to put these up because of the ground here. So what I think I'm going to do is call the camping that we're going to be staying at and just double check with them if we're going to be parking on asphalt gravel or on grass. Because unless it's grass, I'm probably not going to be able to get these in. But it does like it should fit as it is. So. I got the cover back on the mattress so you can see this space on the side here this is where I'm planning to have this tent I have a little table we have some camping chairs over there that is coming with me note to self don't put on nail polish just before you're gonna do things in the car Hey guys, I just finished my training with a phony text or phony content. I need to fold laundry and hang up the new ones. And then I'm just gonna relax for the other rest of the night, which there's really not that much left of, but... Oh well, and then I have to go into the office tomorrow and I really don't wanna... Good morning. I am headed into the office. So I had my training with Phony yesterday, which was really nice. It was about an hour 
and there was some chat about me and about them and it was kind of cool because the guy is like my age I think and he lives in Los Angeles and we have to schedule a meeting and we have nine hour time difference that squeaking sound is my clutch by the way because I drive a stick car um, not all clutches make sounds like that but this one does anyway um, and then we were like talking about how the filming works and all of that because I have to translate the text and then I'm also filming the texts um, for phony texts or phony content they're on snapchat Instagram I Facebook and then uh, I s told him like I'm not that used to using whatsapp which is what they usually film on um, and he was like oh like what does people in Norway use to just chat with their friends and I was like we usually use Facebook Messenger um, I don't know what do you use to text with your friends like do you use regular SMS do you use Facebook Messenger WhatsApp um, I don't know so yeah I just told him that we use Facebook Messenger for the most part in Norway like if you use WhatsApp it's usually because you have foreign friends who uses WhatsApp and um, so we decided that we will try to shoot the Norwegian sequences on Facebook. So if you see Norwegian uh, phony content or phony text videos, those are done by me. He was really fascinated that I was a kitchen designer for IKEA, which is kind of funny. Because obviously IKEA is such a big global brand and he was like, when you book some or hire someone across the world and then they decide or like they work at IKEA, which is like, yeah, you know. So that's kind of cool. He started the company in, uh, I think he said 2018 with his brother, which is like super cool. So if you don't know, both me and my brother also have, both my brother and I also have our own businesses and our businesses are very different from each other. So I obviously do like the translations and the subtitling and the transcriptions and all that stuff. And my brother has a business that does more like, um, like physical things like you can um, like move things like um, if you're moving he can help with that or if you need something to be dug in your garden or if you need someone to pick up a car for you another place in Norway he can do that um, like all of these like that kind of thing my mom also started a business a few years ago which is not operative anymore but um, yeah, there's definitely like an entrepreneur thing in all of us. Also, it's funny because entrepreneur in English just means that you made a company. If you say entrepreneur in Norwegian, it means that you're, it's like a business within specifically property. So you're like a property businessman. And if you're an entrepreneur, like you would say in English, you're a kinder, which is the Norwegian word for making a business. Um, so if you didn't know, that's... to wash my car it's still dirty hey guys I am just setting up the final things on my uh, work phone and I'm gonna be trying to film the first um, video. Okay, that took like an hour and a half, which is, was the first time, so I guess that's fine. Um, I am gonna go downstairs now, I'm gonna find some food, and then I have to do my other freelance work. It's um, 7.13 now. So I started work at the office today, so I left home at 6.15, started work at 7.30, worked until 3.30, and I was home, because I have to stop by a place and buy some things. So I was home about 5.30, started doing this at about 5.45, and then now it's 7.30, I'm done. And then I'm probably gonna have another hour or so with the other thing that I have to do today. So not much free time, basically like a full day of actual work freelance life 
it's 8 40 p.m and i am gonna go to bed apart from two hours of commuting today i have done nothing but working since 6 15 this morning I am gonna lay in bed and read a little bit. Hey guys, this camera has like basically no battery left, but I just wanna fill you in because I haven't really filmed much today. So I have been um, working and then Catherine got here and then she delivered Marius's car, which she had been borrowing. And then we went swimming and then we went to Chanette's place and we talked for a bit, and then I drove her to where she was going, um, Catherine that is, and then I just got home, and now it's 10.50 p.m. And I have, it's not 10.50, it's 9.50. And I am going to be recording another phony content video before I go to bed. So that is my plan right now. It's almost midnight, so I'm gonna head to bed. We're going to a birthday, yeah. ooh, birthday tomorrow. And I was sitting up a little bit longer because I wanted Molly to get back inside. She hasn't been inside all day. And I was gone basically all of tomorrow, so I didn't see her to yes tomorrow. I was gone basically all of yesterday because I was working and stuff, so I didn't see her yesterday either. So I just want her to go back inside so I can see that she's safe. But she's probably running around enjoying the nice weather. Although it's dark now, it's still warm outside. Or it's not dark dark, but it's like dusk. So I went to bed and I thought I heard something and then I looked out the window and she was standing on the other side of the road. So she's safe. Good morning. It is about 10 o'clock. Mer uh, Molly decided that it was time for me to wake up at like 8 something. So I laid in bed and read some news because there's been a shooting in Oslo today. Or last night, tonight. Um... So that was not great news. So I had just had some coffee, I took a shower. I also colored my hair, although I did it with shampoo, so I'm not sure how successful that was. We're going to a birthday party tonight and then I have to go out and buy a present for a birth for a baby shower tomorrow. Hey guys, my camera is almost out of minutes. Or my SD card is rather. I am headed out. I need to pick up some barbecue food for the uh, thing that we're going to tonight and a birthday present for, not a birthday present, baby shower present for the baby shower I'm going to tomorrow. I just finished all of my errands and I'm gonna head home. I'm gonna find some food. I bought one of these tiny little bar things just to have something because I suddenly got really hungry. Um, but I'm gonna go back home now and actually eat something proper. Hey guys, it is 6.30 and I just finished shooting the two things that I had to do today. I have not uploaded a YouTube video. I'm gonna do that later this week. 